This conference will now be recorded. So going back, the three financial statements, the income statement, where we show the, the income, less the expenses to get a net income. So remember, you always are subtracting the cost of the products you sold and your expenses to get back to your net income. The statement of retained earnings just shows you the earnings that have been in the business, what's the current net income, what are the dividends, ending retained earnings. Then we have the balance sheet, like I say, it's a balance sheet with assets, total assets, equal to the total liabilities. So the, that's where we're going. Okay, that's where we're going. So how are we gonna get there? First of all, we're gonna change your mindset and your mindset has to be that you're running a business. Okay, that's the mindset that you've got to have. And how am I gonna make money running a business? And so when you send those journal entries to me, I want you to have a corporate name, I want you to have your articles of incorporation and your organizational chart. And I want you to issue yourself uh, stock certificates for the amount of stock uh, that you've been issued. So when you start the company, you put cash in, you get back a stock certificate. And so you're gonna so you're gonna do these things when you submit those 20 with those 40 journal entries to me. So, you know, so this is not difficult to do, but it's just changing your mindset in terms of the fact that you're now running a business, okay? We talked about the accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. That's what that balance sheet is reflecting. So the balance sheet reflects this equation. Assets equal to the liabilities, plus stockholders equity, plus the common stock, plus retained earnings. And we said we have a double entry system of accounting where when you're, when a two business persons are engaged with each other, they receive something of value and they give up something of value. What you receive of value always goes on the left side. What you give up goes on the right side. What's on the left side is called a debit. That's what you receive. What's on the right side is a credit. That's what you give up. So every time you have a transaction, this is happening. So there's always two parts of that transaction. Then we look quickly initially at journal entries. And we said that there's always a debit and a credit. Debit is what you got, credit is what you gave up. So we had a car where you bought the car with cash. We debited the auto, but we credit cash. If we bought it with a note payable, we debited the auto, but we credited note payable. We had to have two accounts. And if we did a combination of the two, we still have an auto for 10,000, but we credit in cash for two and no payable for eight because we paid two now. The debits still have to equal the credits, okay? So if you got more than one transaction, or more than one account, excuse me, the debits still have to equal the credits. So we have this accounting cycle, which is gonna take us to step seven, preparing the financial statements. And we get there by following these steps sequentially. But if you can't get steps one and two down, read the transaction and make a journal entry, you can't do three, four, five, and six. And so to make sure that you're gonna be able to knock three, four, five, and six out, 
we spent his whole first week on one and two. So at the end of this week, I expect everybody to be able to make your own entries. And how much time are you supposed to take in making a journal entry? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. So to frame it for journal entries, and you're supposed to have hard copies of this so that you can easily refer to it when you're taking quizzes and exams. The transaction types. There are 20 transaction types that we're working with in this course. This first week, we're only concerned with four involving the receipt of cash. So whenever cash comes in, it's debited, okay? And you have a one, two, three, or four. You issue common stock, you had cash revenue, you collected some revenue where you've done the work already and you borrowed money. Cash is debited each time. So whenever cash comes into the business, it's gotta be a one through six. And this chart is telling you what the debit and what the credit. Now, if you pay cash out, we're basically working with seven through 10. Cash is credited here. So whenever you're paying cash out, cash is credited uh, then you debiting, did you purchase an asset? Which one was it? Did you pay a liability? Did you pay an expense? Did you pay dividends, which are the returns to the owners? So when you buy stock in a company, you can't get your cash back, but you pay dividends. So that's how you get paid for your investment in the company. Then we have transaction 12, where you purchase an asset not paying cash so a liability was created and you list that liability then we had 15 sales on account you did the work uh, and you recognize the revenue okay so once we have a 15 then we can have a three but you cannot have a three if you didn't have a prior 15. we recognize the revenue in uh, transaction 15. So when you collect the cash, you, know, you don't uh, recognize revenue. Then we recognize revenue when the earning process is substantially completed. And finally, I gave you your accounts. And you're supposed to have a copy of these accounts. So when you make a, a journal entry, your account's got to come off of the sheet. You don't create any more uh, accounts for me. And you pick something with a number beside it. You don't pick a current asset or assets paid or expenses paid. You pick the specific expense that was paid. Are there any questions? Then we had this problem we worked on where we demonstrated every type of journal entry. And when you present to me today, when you present to me today, you tell me the transaction type first. That's what I wanna hear. Then I wanna hear uh, what account you debited, what account you credited, and the dollar amount. And of course, you're chronologically listing the transactions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10. Any questions on our brief review? No questions. To the um, <clears throat> creation of the company and the <laughs> drafting of the of incorporation, is there going to be like a guidance on that portion, or are we suspected just to know how to do that? Wait a minute, say that again. When we have to um, start our own company, you said mm -hmm. we got to do a company name, and you said we also have to draft, well, I think like articles of incorporation, I believe. Mm -hmm. 
part of it. Right. Is there like a guidance on us, like the proper way to do that or? There'll be a template, there'll be a legal template. And so you just Google Texas Article of Incorporation. Each state has their own articles of incorporation. So you just pull that online, get that template and put the name of your company in it. Okay. So that's not hard. So you're doing your own. Typically, you'd have a lawyer to do it for you. That's how they make their money doing things for you. But you're just going to do the template, pull up that template online, and put the name of your company in it. So you're doing it all yourself. So you have an idea of it. Okay, let's move this over here. I'm afraid to. Okay, so here's our Excel spreadsheet. And you notice you have your various sheets. So you will move the journal entry sheet over and insert your sheet, or you can put it at the back. But you'll just paste it on your on your Excel sheet, what we talked about, okay? So company name. So you can always, I can always add a sheet. Let's see, I could name it, uh, rename, and let's just put uh, business plan. So now we got a name, and so you'll just you know paste that information in here, okay? So we're learning how to do a little bit of Excel. Excel, you know, just like Word, it just got, it has, it, it adds up stuff for us also. Now, you are supposed to be making, why'd you do that? You're supposed to be making <clears throat> your journal entries on your Excel spreadsheet. So you already working on this and adding them today as we go through them. So there's no reason you shouldn't have your 40 journal entries if we're going over 20 today and 20 tomorrow. There's no reason that by not this Friday, but next Friday, you shouldn't have your 40 journal entries done. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So today, this is a five point day. Let me see if I can find you all. Okay, so here are your journal entry assignments, okay? So everybody see their name and what they have to do, correct? Five points today, five points tomorrow on your journal entry. And the reason is that if you just watch me make journal entries, you won't learn how to make them. And then when I give you a test, you won't be able to do it. So it's not whether it's right or wrong. You know, we're looking at, you know, that you attempted to do these. I'm assuming that I wasn't talking in Maine and that y'all got most of these correct anyway. Now, we're doing the first 20 today. If somebody's not here, you can get an extra point, a point for doing theirs. Okay. If you miss, if you happen to make a mistake on yours, then you can pick it. Yeah, you can do another one to get your, still get your points. Uh, so we have 11 people today. So y'all have a lot, y'all have a lot of chance to get points. So that's, that's the way you want to look at it. And you may have a chance to get more than five points today. So somebody not showing up can be a, a help to you as you, you know, you get your points for the semester. Okay, so. 
Are we about ready? Yes. All right. I don't see I don't see these screens on. Okay. Journal entry one was supposed to go to a diary, and I, I think I don't know if this person is here or still in the class. Yeah, they're not my here. Name, my name is still not on the list. Say what? My name is still not on the list. Okay, so well, let's put you on the list then. I will put you in the right order eventually. And I'm just going to put you here for the day. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. The screen sharing is not working. I can see it. Nobody can see it. It says that we have to ask the presenter to give us permission. Uh, uh, what I'm going to do, let's see, you all want to present that way. Okay. What I'd rather do is give you remote control so y'all so can write on my spreadsheet. How does that sound? That's fine. Okay. So, and if someone can't, then you know, I'll do it for them at that point. So journal entry one, who wants journal entry one? I can do it if he's not here. Yeah, so there's a Dominique? Yes. Okay, let's see. Remote control, give access. I'm gonna try to give it to everybody, everyone. So I hit everyone. So see if you can go ahead and do it. Um, mm. I don't think so. Give it to Dominique. You gave it to James now. So Dominic, can you get it? Can you do it? I'm trying, but it says yeah, it's not allowing. I didn't try to give it just to you, Dominic. Okay. You're not moving around, but I don't it's not working. Okay, so let me uh let me try to get out of it first. I always say I have it, but I don't see it. You got it now? Okay, she has it now. Is that me moving it? You. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, because I can't see on my screen. It's not showing me. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what's our type then? Okay. For my type. Read, read the transaction. Uh, it says invested fifty thousand dollars to start JHJ Rental Car Company. Okay. I chose transaction type one, which is the insurance of common stock. Um, for my account number, I put one hundred, and then I put four hundred for the second account number. And the one hundred was cash, and the four hundred was common stock. With the cash, I debited fifty thousand dollars. And the common stock are credited fifty thousand dollars. So, so Dominic did an extra one. So right now, Dominic has a one. Okay. Are there any questions on that journal entry? Now we're in a class. We're if we're in the actual class. And if you were in my class and you missed that journal entry, that since that's the first one that you did, I would 
walk around with this ruler and hit you on your head if you miss that first journal entry. That's wrong? I said, if you missed it. Oh. So when I give you your quiz, if you missed that first journal entry, I'm going to hit you on your head. Got it? All right. So. Okay. So let's see. There's a bunch here. Here. Okay, you've got journal entry two. Read it and tell me to type. I'm having some issues bringing it up, it up on my computer. Bringing up what now? Okay, let me just see. So that's why I asked you all to bring hard copies of this stuff. So you know, so there's a reason. But let me see if I can find it. Out of accounting, accounting, financial, customer. All right. Can you see it now? Yes, I can see it. So read it so we know what it is. Receipt of short term working capital loans. So that's the thousand. Seventy five thousand dollars. So what type of transaction is that? Oh, let's see. More control. I got my spreadsheet jumping everywhere. Okay, so the first thing I want to know on transaction two is the type. You want him to answer it? Yes, it is. I'm opening it now. You're holding us up. They, they want to get finished so they can do their practice quiz today. And you holding them up. My computer will not open. Oh. Okay, so what do you need to see then? Do you need to see journal entry types? Yeah, I can't pull the, I can't open the document. My computer is saying that it's not allowing me to open the document. But you don't have to do that. You can tell me. So I'm not telling you to do anything. So let me see if I can get these journal entry tags. Y'all got me working hard today. All right, if I put these journal entry tags up, which one is it? I got all the money we would have. A cash revenue. I put for um, income receiving advance. It's actually five borrowed money because it's the receipt of a short term capital loan. So it should be number five borrowed money. Oh, just it said borrowed money. So you've got to look at the transaction then come in here and it's telling you right here. So it's not guesswork, you borrow some money. And, I, and, and then I tell you you weren't working on four yet. So you, so you should not be on four for that reason. You only got to worry about this week, one, two, three, and five. So all you got to worry about when cash comes in. Y'all are trying to make this hard. Okay, so. If it is a five, it tells us that we do what? 
What account do we debit? 100. What account are we going to debit? Don't see the word account debit? Which one do you see? What account are we debit? We debit in cash, account number 100. And what are we crediting? Those payable. Well, thank you. Oh, I mean, no, not 100. Um, so you see, you borrow the money, then the chart tells you once you get the type, what account you're going to debit. What accounts are going to credit? So you read the transaction. It borrowed money. Okay, so let's just see how we. So the debit account is going to be what again? 100 cash. And what's the credit account number going to be? 350. And of course, the type we said was what? Uh, Let's put out five in here. Count 100 is what? Cash. Count 350 is what? Notes payable. What's our amount that we're borrowing? Um, $75,000. Uh, So you're supposed to be doing exactly what I'm doing. So you have your 40 transactions done. So. So Mr. Bunch, do you see that now? Yes, I do. I'm just screen. Right, I'm gonna give you one point and you gotta pick up something. There'll be others that we'll probably do after the break. So you got to find another one to do. Uh, so once again, you, you got to do this yourself. Okay. You, you can't look at it. And so that's why we do them. So I'm not concerned about you. You should be closer, look closer. But this is how you learn. You do the transactions yourself. Okay. So who's next up? Raquel Jackson here. Yes, I'm here. Okay, so. Okay, I will try my best. Um, let me go, to, let me find it. Okay, I have number three. It says paid cash of $10,000 for supplies. Yep, we ain't tight. Let me, I'm trying to pull it up. One. Once again, you see why that note was sent? Yes, I had issues printing it out. Okay. What you see is you get ready to take quizzes and exams. You see what's going to happen? Yes, I you see. Got to print I this. You got to print it. Everybody in here, you got to print. The journal entry types and that chart of accounts. If okay. you're going to be within your two minutes. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, I want everybody to have that printed. Got it? Got it. You okay. got a quiz tomorrow that counts. You got one today that don't count, but tomorrow you have one that counts. I got this one that printed in the computer, man. Okay, I'm so 
What journal entry type is it? What's happening? Cash coming in or cash going out? Cash is going out. So it's got to be nine, seven through ten. Oh. So I will say. Seven, maybe? I'm not sure. That's a good guess. That's right. It's a seven. It's a type seven. Supplies is an asset. So once again, it helps you to have your chart of accounts. Okay. So you can then see, you know, you, you can pick it up a little easier. So it says a seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it says, um, so I purchased supplies and I paid for $10,000 for my supplies. All right, I'll put you 10,000 in, debit 10,000. So what did you get? Um, would I just say supplies? That's correct. Okay. What's the supplies account number? Would that be on this same page? Chart of accounts, supplies. Oh, let me find it. And you're going to have those, your hard copies tomorrow, right? Yes, I will. Okay. Um, the account number 130 for supplies. Okay. And we know we paid cash out, 100. Yes. So, so at this point, you should have cash memorized, okay? Okay. So everybody memorize that cash is account 100. Oh, I did. Not to worry about go looking for that. Okay, who is, let's see. Oh, Y'all got me doing a lot of work today. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I guess she guessed her way to a five today. Is Zalandra Jackson here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Miss Zalandra, you have journal entry four. Okay, I try my best. Um, I'll so just try my best. So for account number, oh, let me read it. I'm sorry. Read it, tell me, read it to us. I'm sorry. It's just a lot. Uh, pay cash of $24,000 for a three year insurance policy. Okay, so you pay cash for a three year insurance policy. What's our type? Is it type? Uh, is it a liability? Is it type eight? No. Insurance, prepaid insurance is an asset. Okay. Not a can, you, can you pull up the type entries for me? I'm going to pull out the types again. <laughs> We're on car company. Uh, well, first of all, the account number is 131. Say so what? The account number is 131 for prepaid insurance. Oh, that's, I was just seeing if I could find this stuff. Okay, here. So the type is what? 
Um, uh, type was what? Type. I said type A, but you said that it's it's an asset. So if it's, it's an asset. What it has to be then? Has to be type seven. So they start to repeat it. Only so many of them. Okay. Uh, now you need some accounts. Okay. Um, I would choose one thirty one prepaid insurance. Okay, so you're choosing one thirty one prepaid insurance. Is that? Out and so, yeah. How much was it? Twenty four thousand. What are you gonna put in this next part down here? Uh, the chart. Okay. I thought it told you what you credited. Okay, yes. Whenever you're paying out something, what you're going to credit? What you're receiving or giving something. Okay, it tells you account debited, account credited. So mm -hmm. if you got a eight, I mean a seven, and says you debit what the asset, what does it tell you you're crediting? 24000 But what account? What's the name of it? Yeah. I can't see it from the far right. What account are you crediting? Purchase assets? No. That's the transaction type. So this chart tells you that. Oh, cash. Uh, thank you. You know, credit cash. What's the cash account number? Somebody gave her a heads up. What she said. Yeah. So, you know, once again, you see why I would do it this way and why I have you do the transaction. You might just think you can look at it and do it, but it doesn't happen that way. Okay, so it's lure and font here. I can take that one if not. Okay, go ahead, Sam, what? Um, so, I said it's the equipment that has been purchased, so that's going to be for account number. You're going to have 220. And the type first. Oh, the type of seven. That's a seven also. So, um, so 220 for account number, then equipment. And then you're debiting $10,000. And then you go down. You have your 100 cash, and that's the credit. So that wasn't so bad, was it? It was okay. <laughs> extra one in here right now okay let's see who's up next neil is he here okay what's journal entry six i'll take it. okay so that's all purchase fifteen thousand. 
on a calendar. Purchased fifteen thousand in supplies on account. Okay. I have the transactions right? as seven. Purchase exits. And I have account code one thirty for supplies, fifteen thousand. And account code one hundred cash fifteen thousand. Just say you pay cash. Um no, it didn't say specifically how it would pay. It said on account, that means you use your credit card. Yeah, so. So what type should this be? No. This should be a 12. Yeah. Because we bought supplies again, but this time we bought them on account. And so what's the, so we're going to be what crediting accounts payable? What number is that? Three only. Got the time. What, what account number is account payable? Three oh one. And what was our amount? Fifteen thousand. Is Odui Foma here? If, if I'm on a Odu? Yes, I'm here. How do you pronounce that? If I'm on a. Okay. Read the transaction okay. to us. Okay. Um, one second. Um, pay advertising expense of $10,000. For the transaction type, I put um, nine and nine, um, nine is um, payment of an expense. Okay. Um, for account debited, I put um, advertising expense account number 611 for 10,000 and six then what? account 611. Okay. And then for account credited, I put 100 and then cash and then $10,000 for each one. Okay. That's how I like to have them done. Dominique, you ready to take us to the break? Yes. Um, number eight says purchase 10 autos for 30,000 each, paying 50,000 down and signed a note for the balance. I oh, chose action type. That's all right. So tell I chose us about this. Type five, which was borrowed money. Um, for my accounts debited, I did account number 210 for auto. And in parentheses, I put 10 cars for 30,000 and the debited amount became 300,000. Um, for my credited part, I put 100 slow for- Slow down, slow down. <laughs> so you bought 10 cars? Yes. And how much did you pay per car? Um, 30,000, so that debited 300,000. So does everyone see that? You bought 10 cars, 30,000 each. 300,000. Do we not calculate the down payment into this? Sure. Of course. Um, my credited part, I put number 100 for cash, and I also put number 350 for notes payable. For my cash credited, I put 50,000. And for my notes pay payable credit, I put 250,000. So they pay 50,000 down, so. Yeah. Then we had a notes payable for the balance. So 
you have more than one account, or more than two accounts. Okay, so, and this one was 250. Yes. And it was transaction type five. Well, I don't know about that now. Well, that's what I thought anyway. Okay, so you got to have a type by each one of these two accounts. Oh, I need more than one type? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So for the cash down. Two and five then? Or no? Suppose you bought one car for $50,000. What type would you use? Um, oh, seven. All right. Suppose you paid 250000 for nine cars. What account would you use? A uh, five. No, wait. You said I paid 200 and you but said you I paid. Two hundred and fifty to buy the, to buy the cars. Suppose you borrowed two hundred and fifty. So see, you aren't paying and you aren't you aren't getting cash. You borrowing money. Yeah, that's what I said, number five. But then you said no. Uh, you, but you didn't get any cash. In number five, it says you, you debit cash. See the account, you debit cash? Yeah, it says you debit cash and then accounts credited is most payable. Okay, but that's not what happened. So it's a good one to stop on. It says that you bought 250,000 in cars mm -hmm. with a note. Yeah. So would it be 12 asset purchase and liability? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. So the down payment, the down payment is a seller. Yeah. Then you borrow, well, you use a note payable, so you borrow, but you didn't get cash, you got cars. So that's a 12. So here we have three accounts and two types. One, we buying an asset car for 50,000 of it. We uh, pay cash down. For the rest of the car amount, we borrowed money. So we signed a note to pay it. So this is no, we got to pay back. So we didn't get money, we borrowed money. We, we set up a note to pay for the car, our car. Okay. Okay. Any questions on these first eight? No, sir. No questions. Okay. So we'll give her a six since this is a hard one. She gets the way on through. Now, after the break, we're going to finish the other. So, he took, since you're on 18, that means that your journal entry is 18 now. So, we'll be picking up on journal entry nine after the break, and hopefully, we'll go a little faster. Y'all got time to get ready now and be ready to go. So we're going to take a little break, go back and review. You should have all of these recorded. I'm, I'm going to leave the journal entries up. So you should have all of these recorded now. Understanding what's happening and be able to make these journal entries See, we took a whole lot of time. And remember, we said journal entry should be two minutes. So let's try to be at our two-minute mark, well, three minutes after the break, so we can get our first 20 done. Okay? Take a break.
Okay, okay. Any questions? No, sir. Matter of fact, I do have a question, but it ain't about this. Um, the transaction types, earlier you told us that there were 20 transaction types. However, the document that you gave us only gave us 18 transaction types. Your number 19 and 20 on the one you showed earlier is our number 17 and 18. I'll, I'll work with it and get an updated one. Okay, thank you. Thanks for letting me know that. So, so I may have just pulled an old one just to get it in there, but I'll send an updated one. Okay, thank you. Okay. So is Christopher Fala here? I'm not sure, but if he's not, I can take his problem. Okay, so what's happening in transaction now? It says received cash car rental revenue, $400,000. So chose... you get $100,000 in car rental revenue. Yes, I chose transaction type two which is the cash revenue received. I debited um, account number 100, which is cash for $400,000. And then- Let's put the down here first. It's a two, does everyone see why it's a two? That's the main reason you're in business, to get cash. So in a type two, what you gonna debit? Um, $100 cash, I mean 100, is the account number cash four hundred thousand dollars is the amount debited? And what you gonna credit? Number five hundred sales. For four hundred thousand. Any questions? I think I have a question as far as that one. I understand that it is the revenue is going to be for sales, but for the miscellaneous revenue, when will we use rental income? That like rental property that speaking of? Yeah, we have we we won't be using that. Don't worry about that. Okay. So in general, we're just using sales. And we might have a sales return eventually. But this is kind of like if you got a if you got a big building, you sub rent to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of times a person got a big building and their rent pot is facing somebody else. But we're only concerned with the sales revenue. That's a good, good point. Okay. So Crystal Richardson, number ten. Okay. So Finn says pay office salaries of eighty thousand dollars. So I was kind of confused about this because on the Try of accounts, two accounts have salaries, but I did put transaction type nine because that's um, type nine? payment of an expense. Okay. And so um, type nine is um, you would credit the expense paid and the debit would be cash. So my expense paid was um, salaries payable. I think three fifty. I mean six fifty office salary expense. I mean. Do you pay rent? Yes. So what happened when you paid your rent this uh, yesterday to your cash account? Did it go up? Like what do you mean? When you paid your rent. You just said you pay salary, so I'm just saying that if you're in a situation where when you pay rent, the amount of money in your cash account goes up. No, but the only reason is because it says office salary expense versus the other one. Is, 
What I'm what I'm trying to do is it will be debited in September. Office salaries is no different from you paying your rent. Okay. So then, what happened to your cash account when you paid your rent? It goes down. Okay. So when you pay office salaries, it also so is going to go down. So it's three hundred two. Well, okay. I, I just want to help. Um, for mine, the office yeah. salary expense was fine, but I put I put the eighty thousand in my debited part for the office salary expense. When you put, first, okay, let's get to the transaction type. What type is it? I said nine. Is it nine nine? Okay, it's, it's a nine. So when okay. we have a, a nine, what account do we debit? The expense paid. So what did you pay? Office salaries, right? Yes. And what did you credit? What did you credit? Cash. Okay. So see, the chart is telling us you got to debit something and you're crediting cash. So what am I saying? Like, that's wrong. Well, you said you debit the cash earlier, but don't, don't worry about no. it. Uh, mm -hmm. that's not, I want it. Yeah, so that's what I know. Chart of accounts now, right? What happened? Okay, so you said you paid office salaries, right? Yeah, it says account, debit right? six. It says debit account six fifty, office salaries of eighty thousand, and credit. Uh, uh, account number 100 for cash, 80,000. And it's transaction nine. Okay, that's what we want. Oh, so, so that's what I have. That's not what you said initially, though. Oh, that's what I have right here. I think because I started asking a question in the middle of my, what, what I was trying to say, but that's what I have. You know, you did it. So, how much was it? 80,000. All right. And so, we'll give you a four so you can pick up, so you know you got to go work on another and get your other point. Okay, so now we're to Kaylee Robinson. Kaylee Robinson here. Okay. I'll jump on it. Okay, so, so what's the transaction? What, what's happening here in number 11? Pay rent expenses of forty thousand. Okay, so what's our type? I have type nine. So type nine. And I have account number six fifty one for rent expense. And forty thousand. Uh six fifty one. What a what number did you say? Six fifty one. Okay, six fifty one. We're the rent rent. Expense. Okay. I have account number 100 cash. Okay. And the amount that is to be debited is 40,000. And the amount credited is 40,000. So as you can see, they begin to repeat. You just have to, you know, the account numbers are changing but the actual amounts are uh, 
Okay, so where are we now? Um, number 12 now, that's Alexis Ross. Is Alexis Ross here? I'll, I'll take my shot at that one. Okay, All Mr. Right. Thomas. All right. Um, for the account tight. I got 15. Read it to us. Give me one second. I'm sorry. Um, car rental revenue <clears throat> earned for corporate customers on account 100,000. Okay. So car rental revenue earned from corporate customers. Uh, and so we didn't get cash, so it can't be a cash, but it's revenue. So as he said, this is a type 15. <laughs> Then for, I was kind of confused on this one, but for the um, credit, I did 500 for the account for sales. Okay, well, let's look at a 15 right quick. If you got a 15, it says you debit what? Mm. If you got a 15. Yes. Well, um, accounts receivable. So I do right. have that down. And you credit what? You know, sales, whatever, either one of these. So we just say sale. So whenever you go to a type, it's telling you what the debit and what the credit. Right. So we're going to be debiting account receivable. Yep, 110. What? And that's what, 110? Yes, sir. And then the product. And then uh, 500 for sales for the credit. That's correct. So we've done the work. We don't have the money yet. What was our amount? 100,000. So this situation, take for instance, my yard person. He comes and cuts my, he has a, his worker come and cut my grass every week. And let's just say I'm paying him $50 a week to cut my grass. What he does at the end of the month is send me uh, a bill for the, the uh, $200 and he's gonna debit receive with credit sales. He doesn't necessarily want me to pay his work. Okay, that's not good internal control. So he read it, rather have the worker come do the work and he send me a bill and I pay him later. So when he sends me the bill, he makes this entry. He's happy. The grass is cut. He's old money. That's number 12. Okay. So who answered just now? I did. Uh, oh, David. Right on. Got another point in here. So now that's number 12. Let's go to number 13, Mr. Sam. Okay. So number 13, should I read it? Yeah. Okay, 13 says paid on accounts payable 20,000. So I started off with uh, my transaction type eight. What is eight? Payment of a liability, correct? Mm -hmm. And then, so we have um, 301 for account number, which was accounts payable. And then that's credit. 20,000. And then we did cash 100. And then debit 20,000. OK. 
Okay. Okay, Mr. Thomas. David Thomas. Yes, sir. Uh, that was me for twelve, actually. <laughs> I know me and uh, Tony Boy sound the same. Okay, so this was. Yeah, I did number twelve. Okay, so now we're on number fourteen. Your actual one. Okay, so uh, let me read it off. So it's collection of cash from corporate customers, and that's $100,000. I so got collecting cash from cor corporate customers, $100,000. Yes, What's sir. out there on your tight? Uh, three. This, this is a three. So the three follows the 15. Once we add a 15, then we're going to have a three. We did the work. Now we getting the cash. Yes, sir. Well, uh, we're going to debit. You're going to debit the cash um, so that I count 100. Okay. But yeah. well, we're going to credit. The uh, account's receivable. And we're going to credit account receivable. That's 110. So whenever we have a type three, cash is debited. Account receivable is credited. Okay, now we have. Uh, Darius Tony, the number 15. All right. Invested and a 100,000 in the business. Okay. And I have transaction type one. Transaction type one. And the account debited cash. Account number 100 cash for 100,000. And 400, account number 400 for common stock for 100,000. So you can see now they're beginning to repeat. So now we need number 16. I can take that one if she's not here. Okay. Um, for 16, I chose, oh, let me read it. It says received cash car rental revenue for $500,000. I chose transaction type number two, which is cash revenue received. Okay. Um, for my account number debited, I chose account number 100, which is cash. I debited 500,000. And for the accredited account, I put account number 500 sales and credited 500,000. Okay, so we're now on number 17. I can also do that one if she's not here. Well, all right. Seven, what happened to 17? 17 says pay sales salaries of $300,000. I chose transaction type number nine, which is payment of an expense. Okay. Um, for my account debited, I chose account number 610, which is sales salaries expense. 
and I debited three hundred thousand dollars for my account. Oh, okay, you close the puzzle. For my account credited, I chose account number one hundred for cash, and I credited three hundred thousand dollars. She's getting all the points. Okay, so Mr. E. Tucker, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so read the transaction to us. Car rental revenue earned from corporate customers at 50000 So What's our type? It's going to be a type uh, 15. Type right, 15. So we know if it's a type 15, we can do what? Go up here and copy these. So we done. So how easy that is? What's our dollar amounts? It's gonna be uh fifty thousand. Because you're working with your Excel spreadsheets, when transactions repeat, you can just copy those parts. Then you know put your change in numbers. So we Whenever it's a 15, we know this is how it looks. When it's a nine, it's a little different. But on a 15, where the accounts are not changing, we just copy them like that. Okay, so 19. Who wants 19? I, I can also 19. Oh, okay, she can. She can try, but I have a question. Uh, okay, so. I think it's type one. So read it to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Collection of cash from corporate customers. Collection of cash from corporate oh. customers. So let's look at our types. So it's got to be what? One through six. Mm -hmm. Did we issue common stock? Recollecting something. Yeah. Do you see the word collection up there? Yes. But when okay, so when we're collecting, is it still not because previous of what we did, it was common stock when we we're collecting cash. No, we, no, we did common uh, stock when we invested cash. Yeah, when you form the company and you put your money in, that's number one. But here we're collecting some money from customers. So this is why I got you forming a business. It's one thing to put your money in, it's another thing to get revenue from customers. Okay. Um. So this should be a type three. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, it's type what? Three, right? Yes, I have a question though, because number 19 doesn't have an, an amount it just says that um, they collected it from the corporate customers, collected cash from corporate customers. It doesn't actually have a price there. So what was we supposed to put for the debit and the credit amount? You're like we knew. That, Aren't you planning on being an A student? That's why I'm asking a question. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know. I'm confused about that part. If you don't have an amount there, then what do we put? Like I know what the thing is. I know it's going to be number one hundred for cash, um, and then it's going to be one ten for accounts receivable. But so you know we're going to copy this and paste it. Yeah. Yeah. And what I would do, I just go up here to the transaction prior to it, since it it follows a three always has to follow the fifteen. Uh, 15. Okay. So we had a three right above it. I'm in a 15 right above it. So I'm a copy. 
this is what I'm going to do, Dominic. What you think? Okay, that works for me. I just had to that go. Works for you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Can you tell me why we doing that? Right. Does it mm -hmm. go along with the question before? Is it always going to be like that? If it doesn't have a number amount? Well, you got to always read it. I didn't want you just to be going through and I'm just, you know, you're not thinking about what's happening. So what you know is that before you can have a three, it's got to be a 15. So in a situation like this, where we're collecting, you say, well, let me go find the, the previous 15. And with that previous 15, I'm going to then come in and get my amount that way. What do you mean uh, before three, you have to have a 15? Okay. Like a transaction type 15. You have to have the sale on the account before you can use number three, before you can have the collection of the account. That is, if my yard man, he can't send me a bill until his workers have come and cut my grass, okay? So when the workers come cut my grass, he makes this transaction. When he gets my check, he makes this transaction. So when the workers come, he debit a receivable, which is a good thing. You like receivables because that means somebody's gonna give you something. That's a receivable. So when they come, he debits fifty thousand and credit sales fifty thousand. Then when he tell when the bill is ready to be collected, he sends it out, and he's gonna send out for fifty thousand and want fifty thousand back. So we debit cash and credit account receivable. So just kind of think about it. But we're doing the work. We're doing the work. And then we are getting paid later. And we'll have some more of those tomorrow. And we'll, we'll look at that again. So just let it kind of soak in. And then we'll, you know, so we'll do some more of these tomorrow. It's your first day doing them. And so some of that will be there, but let's hold that question till tomorrow as we work another one. Let's see if we can get 20 done. So we'll be done for today. Number 20 says pay rent expense of $40,000. Um, the transaction type is type nine, which is payment of an expense. Um, the debited account number is 651 for rent expense, and you're debiting $40,000. And the credited amount is 100. I mean, the credited account number is 100 for cash, and you're crediting So that's just payment of an expense. Are you ready for this quiz? Uh, what and what type of format is the quiz going to be? Just like this. Oh, you want us to do it on the internet? Okay. Uh, sometime I'll give you a Word document to do it. This is just a practice quiz, correct? Yeah. Well, uh, I know Raquel has her hand on her head. <laughs> okay, let me just see. 